I had an uncle when I was at primary school, he was a police officer on a motorbike, and he used to prick me up one every now and again, once every now and again, every time of years, wait for me at the gate of the door of the, of the uh, primary school, and he'd pull up, and I'd hop on the gas, up on the back of the bike, and he'd set the siren going and we'd go off home. <laughs> I used to feel wonderful having all of this, all the kids would stop and clap and hear, and things like that it was very good. I was an only child, couldn't, you know, just really loved being in the bush on my own. And with scouts there were so many things that you learnt to do, you learnt to make things, you learnt to make your fire properly. I used to carry a little mesh and a rack all right, that could, I could put a billy on the fire easily. I uh, used to make dampers on a stick when I wanted bread. We first really met just in the, just in the car, wasn't it? Yeah. We'd yeah. net it and talked and talked and talked and... And we went out to lunch and I was hot pants era. And I think I had good legs and long hair and that was a bit of an attraction. <laughs> and. We just hit it off and we were married in a traditional wedding in church and a reception uh, to follow and it was good and we went for a honeymoon in New Zealand afterwards. I was well received and teased to hell and that's what you expect with Kiwis. <laughs> he was a great hands-on dad, he'd do stuff. And I think Barry did more with little kids than a lot of other dads of his era. He'd be home on the weekends and the house would be full of Lego constructions going up to the curtains and down. Uh, tried making the Eiffel Tower at one stage, a miniature Eiffel Tower. I used to have uh, run a piece of cord down to some of the Lego here and we'd have a skyway running from the fish tank down, down the chairs here. And we made spaceships here, we were all mad Lego people. We had a hell of a lot of fun, going to New Zealand, going to Barry Reef, just going to the beach. Been doing stamps since I was a teenager. Started at about 12 or 13. And I wanted to sell them on the eBay. You know, I might set a reserve of $2. Then I got into the trains and then I thought, well, if I can sell the stamps, why can't I sell the trains? Can I make things with the train? Yes. I can make all the little loads that go on the carriages. Then I can put some of the very small loads, like the a churn, a milk churn, which is only about that high, by the way, I can put some milk churn together on a pallet. Or if I put them on a pallet, I can put little crates on a pallet and then boxes on a pallet for people to buy. And it sort of goes on and goes on and goes on and gets bigger and more complex and more time consuming as, as you expand. It was a hobby. I'm a survivor because of all of the things, the sicknesses I've had, all of the Times I've spent in hours and spent weeks and so spent in hospitals. Uh, all of the trips I've travelled in caravan with catheters and me and things like that. I tend to go for the, the real solution where I can participate in it. So that's why I reckon I'm a survivor. It was a real love story and it still is a love story. We can still make each other laugh and have jokes and got to do that after 45 years or however many it is. We're just lucky to have had him for so long and uh, we've, we've just experienced so much together over the years, it's been fantastic. Do you agree we've had a happy life? Definitely. Good. <laughs> <laughs>